Phase 3 is the pharmacodynamic phase, during which the metabolized drug interacts with drug receptors. For example, a calcium channel blocker interacts with calcium receptors to block inward movement of calcium, thus reducing contractility and dilation of the coronary arteries. It is important to differentiate between the action of a drug and its effect. Actions of drugs are physiologic biochemical mechanisms that produce a response in living organisms. While the effect is the observable consequence of this action, for example, the action of certain antibiotics is interference with bacterial cell wall synthesis, while the effect is the death of the bacteria. No drug produces a single effect, and this can be highly problematic. The therapeutic action is the desired effect. Secondary effects, meaning all effects other than the desired therapeutic action, may be beneficial, but may also be harmful, altering normal physiologic functions and producing undesired side effects. In general, drugs work by one of three actions. The first two are stimulation and depression of normal physiologic functions. These actions are seen in drugs that address a variety of conditions, such as hypertension, psychiatric disorders, disorders created by chemical imbalances, and allergic responses. The third action is caused by chemotherapeutic agents which kill or weaken foreign organisms such as bacteria, worms, viruses, and malignant cells. The principle of action for these agents is selective toxicity, meaning the drug must be more toxic to the parasite than to the host. Toxicology looks at ways in which the drug may be harmful to the body, an important physical effect. Remember that the toxic effects of a drug are often an extension of the drug's therapeutic action. It is often said that all drugs are poisons if given in the right dose. The role of the kidney is to concentrate solutes for elimination, and this concentration of a drug within the organ is a factor in the degree of a drug's renal toxicity. Pharmacognosy refers to the study of drugs from natural sources, meaning plant, animal, or mineral-based drugs, including their historical use. One example would be digitalis, an important cardiac medication which comes from the foxglove plant. Another is the chemotherapeutic agent vincristine, which comes from vinca, also called the periwinkle. Many modern drugs arise from natural plant origins, but the majority are now synthetic versions. Because so many drugs are based on plant substances, it is important to include the possibility of interactions or potentiation related to pairing prescription drugs with herbal supplements. For example, the dietary supplement red yeast rice is a plant source of statin compounds and should not be combined with prescription cholesterol-lowering agents. Ginkgo can cause an increase in clotting time, so mixing it with anticoagulant drugs, such as warfarin or aspirin, could cause bleeding. Mm -hmm.